Welcome back to Sports Video. We're in Chapter 4, and we're talking about sports analytics. I have analytics software I've been testing out. This is called Knack Sport. Uh, this analytics software allows you to break down games and plays, and we're really going to dig into why you should be doing analytics, the value of it, and some tips literally from the basics of pen and paper data and merging that with your video recordings, and then exploring the value of sports analytics software that really combines all of this and makes it so usable. So let's jump into it. So sports analysis, really what we're doing here is we're using video to give us actionable insights, right? So we can use this for play reviews, studying formations, enhancing our strategies and coaching. And essentially what we're doing is we're combining raw data from the game with the video that we've recorded to get the sports insights. And this expands into traditional metrics like just stats and scoring, but gives the visual context of the video that what actually happened, which is great for coaching. Uh, on the left here, we're showing a dashboard from uh, SportsNAC. Uh, this is provided to us by Metrica Analytics that I'll introduce you to uh, in the book. But this is a game changer. It allows us to, you know, you can record the video and get the data from the video. So if you don't have someone who's a sports analyst on your team doing live tagging and live analytics, you've got all this data. You've got this video you can go back to to track every movement, go backward and forward and tag each piece. And we can get those insights, whether it's for the coaches, the teams, the, the analytics team and players to really improve the game. So such a huge deal and video is so crucial for these analytics because it goes beyond just the traditional stats where you know you've got the score where you can really to break down you know who scored who passed who got the assist and what are the patterns that we're seeing here for individual players and for groups like offense and defense so we can break down the analysis here with motion tracking you can even some places can do player health monitoring. If you do the health monitoring um, systems, you can do scorekeeping and really unlock some next level insights. So sports analytics can do quite a lot for us. And I'm going to dig into some of these tools here. And I have them in like three different categories here. So you can do game play analysis, which improves your coaching. And coaches like to use this. And if you have a team analyst or a performance staff, they break down the plays and the tactics and review the motion of the formations. You also can look at the stats and just create stats, right? And get that intelligence so you can create those key performance indicators for your team. And uh, these can be used with broadcasters, journalists, sports analysts, and even athletes. Then the third category of using the sports analytics is presentation. And you really should skip this step because you want to present all of this to your team in a post-game report where they can really figure out you know, what happened. And you can use interactive charts and data visualization to show to your team what's really going on. And your, the ways to get this analytics, right, is you can do manual tagging, meaning during the live game, you can literally tag the game. And uh, the software I was, I was showing you here in front of me, this is Knack Sport. This software, what it allows you to do is to take the live camera feed and each one of these down here is an event, okay? So as there's a goal, as there's a block, as there is the timeout, all of these different things, they can be tagged so that you can literally really quickly create highlight reels of all the different tags. So this is called Knack Sport. Dartfish is a very popular one that goes all the way up to like Olympics. And that is used manual tagging. The reason why we use manual tagging is because, you know, we can rely on an expert to do it properly. Now, AI video analysis, which is built into many sports cameras, is really good and it can do a lot. It's always getting better, but it has some inaccuracies. So if you need it to be perfectly accurate, you have to use a human today. Um, but AI, where there's no, nobody to help you, and you're a small team, it's better than nothing. Um, and then you can also go down the route of hiring a service. Huddle offers a service. There's many services that offer real human breakdowns of the game and deliver that to the coaches. So one of the things I wanted to provide to you in this course is 
a template that you can download. This is a Word document that you can change and update. But just giving you like a basic template that you can print out and put on a clipboard and just get the basics, right? What happened in the first quarter? What was the score? Who scored? Um, at what time did the, all of this happen, which can be very helpful for you when you are scrubbing through a video, which we're going to do a little bit of in this um, chapter here, just showing you kind of how this works and how to organize some of the video. This was a uh, youth sports game that I can share with you uh, in this course. Um, but yeah, well, th this this you can print this out and have just some data to go back to uh, old pen and paper style. Um, and then you can create your own charts just with Google Docs, right? If you want to, and Google Sheets and Google uh, Slides, you can create graphs of how is your team doing over this course of a season. So very simple analytics, and then obviously much more powerful when you start to do advanced breakdowns and you're including video and including software like Metrica and uh, Huddle has some of this, Knack Sport to contextualize and simplify the process of creating these dashboards where you can really make dynamic presentations to your team with analytics. So when you're doing this, the first thing you want to start with is what are your KPIs, right? Your key performance indicators. What are you measuring? You want to go into a season knowing this. You want to understand your team goals. Are they offensive? Are they defensive? What are we trying to improve? and then collaborate with the players and the coaches to provide meaningful stats behind that. Okay, so if you want to improve your offense, do you want to improve the amount of assists, the amount of goals, the amount of touches, the amount of time spent in a specific area of the field, and how are you going to measure that, right? In basketball, you might be looking for points per possession. You might be looking at turnovers. In soccer, you might be looking at pass completion rates or expected goals. In baseball, you might be looking at batting averages. And it's incredible what you can do with apps these days. One of my favorite apps for smartphones is called Game Changer. And Game Changer is one that will literally uh, take your team. I'll show you it on my phone here. Um, this is my son's soccer team. And literally, because I keep score on this app, this is the Game Changer app, um, which I'll show you in a minute here. Uh, this has. Well, let me show this here. This has the schedule. Uh, this doesn't look too great, but you probably have seen, check out Game Changer. It, has, it combines the ability to have a schedule, to have scorekeeping, and then it automatically creates the stats for you. Um, so there's a lot of great tools for this, but uh, think about what are your KPIs? What's going to be actionable for your team to learn from? And once you have those relevant metrics, and I give you some examples of these in the book, you need to capture that. And you've got a couple different options, right? You can put it in yourself with manual tagging and manual tagging, and I'll include in that annotation, right? Right now I am annotating on, on the video. And there's some really cool things you can do with this that we'll, we'll show in the book here and in the uh, online course, but you can manually tag your video. You can use AI. Oop, switch to the annotation tool here. You can use AI, or you can outsource this to a to a service. So one of these might be easier than manually doing it, right? Um, so you have to decide, you know, how you're going to capture this data. Um, in basketball, a real world example is analyzing defensive and offensive setups. In football, we track player positions, and in tennis, we look at techniques. And sometimes we use slow motion instant replay, uh, which we're going to show a really cool example of that in this uh, course. So. Um, Slow motion instant replay is something that's interesting that we're gonna we're gonna tackle in the instant replay chapter. Um, tagging and cataloging everything by play is something I'm going to show in this video, and then overlaying the stats on the video is something that if you get to that level, you can provide those fans with that interactive engagement. So figure out which approach you want to do. You can tag in real time, or you can tag post game, right? So you can make all of these adjustments and tags after the game. And that's a really valuable experience as a coach to do post-game tagging. Now, once you've done all of this, you obviously want to present the data. So before we jump into the presentation area, I want to show you a couple tips um, that I've learned. Uh, now, this is just a soccer game. Let's see how... Now, one of the things I did, which you can see here, 
is that I have a scoreboard. And this is key because it allows me to know what time I'm in, right? So I know it looks like I it was about a 20-minute uh, half, and I can go through and I can find when the goal was. So I see that there was a goal because the goal has gone from zero to one, right? So this immediately tells me, okay, there's a goal here. I saw the scoreboard change. Now I can scrub to when that goal was. I can use my clipping tool, which this is Adobe Premiere. You know, there's different tools for this. I can cut out just the goal. And now it's just, instead of having to go through an entire game here, I can just cut and I can start to organize these into goals. So let's just do this really quick. Let's look for two goals just to give you an example. All right, when's the next goal? Let's keep going. Up, oh, there was a goal for, and I only care about the home team goals. Here is another goal for the home team. So I'll go ahead and cut that. Looking at the scoreboard, boom, another goal. So that gets me really easily, gets me two goals that I can put into a highlight reel. And I just want to show you one other thing I'm going to do for this highlight reel. This is going to be covered in a lot more detail in the highlight reels chapter, but I'm going to put a ring around the uh, key player here who has got the ball. Uh, and I just wanted to show you kind of how this works to give you an example um, so that we can kind of grow from here, if you will. But I'm going to, all this is going to be explained in a lot more detail, but just want to show, I'm going to create a little keyframe there. And I'm going to have this follow the player. So what this allows me to do is kind of just pick where the player is, have it follow him throughout this clip. All right. This takes a while, so I don't want to take too much time with this. But I'm just kind of showing how this might work. This isn't going to be perfect for this um, setup. All right, boom, now let's play that back and see how that looks. All right, there we go. We're gonna make that look a lot better. But you can see we can start to do some really cool stuff and this is gonna be covered in a lot more detail um, in the highlight reel chapter where I'm gonna give you all these free graphics to do this. But you can see that you take the full game, you start chopping it up and then you create, now in Premiere these are called uh, new sequences, right? So I've got a sequence of goals, sequence of saves, sequence of offensive plays. You build that from the main, the main video. And that is how, you know, basically how sports analytics works. Um, and then you decide, how am I going to present this data, right? Am I going to do it in a pie chart? Am I going to do it in, you know, once I've got all my data, how am I going to share that? And just think of sharing it in context of a powerful dashboard. And that's where Knack Sport and some of these professionals that build these make it much easier. A diagram is much easier for your athletes to review and learn from and have player-centered feedback, right? Collect and analyze the data, interpret it as a coach, bring uh, the practices and next steps into your, um, into your presentations and transform your sport with video. So we're going to dig into all of this in more detail and, of course, the book really jumps into this. So that is just an overview of how to get started with sports analytics. And uh, don't forget to read the book because it really digs into a lot of examples and sports analytics software if you want to deep dive into this topic. All right, I'll see you in the next video.